Massimo Vignelli. Massimo Vignelli was born in Milan in 1931, where he studied architecture. In 1966, he moved to America to work with Unimark International. In 1970, he set up Vignelli Associates with his wife, Lela Vignelli. His work draws from his architectural background both in two-dimensional and three-dimensional. He uses limited typefaces which according to him suffice for all kinds of work. Garamon, Bodoni, Century Expanded, Helvetica, Times New Roman and Futura are the ones he prefers using. For Massimo Vignelli, work is anything that can be well designed. He has done corporate identity for a number of big names such as American Airlines and the United Colors of Benetton. Their poster work is mainly commercial and therefore they try to combine impact and information while making posters. Package design is a tangible expression of the product itself. Bold colors and good packets make people want to hold on to their design. Among other work, one work that must be mentioned is the New York City subway map designed in 1972 and redesigned in 2008 by Vignelli Associates. A lot of people had a lot to say about these maps. And this is what the designer himself had to say. This is really the most clear kind of map I have ever seen, you know, in terms of information for the subway. It's very simple. Every line has a color and every station has a, a dot. Possible that I made a mistake by indicating somehow, even in a, even in, the, in a deformed way, the areas, you know, Manhattan, Queens, and, you know, the Bronx. I probably should have done what I've done in London, not to have an indication of the geography. One of the problems they had in New York is that the people, they couldn't re relate the geography with the station. There were geographical map, there are neighbor map in the subway, you know. So really there is no reason why this geography has to be literal. Otherwise it's a perfect, I think it's one of the most beautiful spaghetti work ever done. The uniform map was substituted by the junky one that you can see now by going in every subway station. It has, it's loaded with information which is so difficult to retrieve that it makes the whole point of the map equally uh, useless. Mm -hmm.